A number of you have asked about number 119. I'll ante up and the price point that I put on her. A lot of people had said, why so low, why so low? Well, she did have OCDs removed for her, from her hocks and her hind ankles. Now, not really a big deal, and this is why. If they didn't have it written down, you would never know there was anything ever taken out of this Phillies hocks or ankles. My goodness, they did a very, very good job on that. So this is a very well-bred filly, and if there weren't updates, if there weren't OCDs removed, people would probably pay a lot more money for her, but there, I would have to believe there's some value to be found in, you know, OCDs removed from four joints and a horse. Doesn't bother me, probably shouldn't bother you, but at the, at the same time, it will bother some people. Can you walk her down this way, would you mind, sir? As you can see, there's certainly no issues with her gait or her walking of any kind. There's no swelling in the joints. There's no reason to believe it would ever bother her again. There's a reason they take them out, because they need to come out. We've taken plenty out and have never had a problem afterwards. So, this is number 119. A lot of people have asked about her. I thought I'd make another video of her. This is Isle Annie Up.